Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video. We've got more Premier League action today. It is Crystal Palace at home to Manchester City and we are joined by a very special guest back on the channel, a lovely girlfriend Jade and a Crystal Palace fan as Bye. well. It's not only your first Crystal Palace game, first men's football match as well. Are you excited? Absolutely buzzing. I'm actually so excited for this game. Oh, it's always nice to hear. We love a bit of that. Should be an interesting game today because on paper you would expect Manchester City to cruise to three points today. It's the final run into the end of the season and at this point is when City are at their strongest. We've already seen when Haaland's form has dropped. Players like Phil Foden especially stepping up at the moment. But Crystal Palace are more than capable of causing an upset. You've been learning all the chants as well of late so that's always exciting. Is there anyone in particular that you're looking forward to seeing? Um, I've obviously heard that Michael Lise will be back, so that'll be good to see him and possibly Mateta. Let's head straight to the stadium, get inside, soak up the atmosphere, possibly a trip to the Crystal Palace shop. Yes! Brilliant. So we are inside the stadium, ladies and gents. Got yourself a nice scarf. Look at this. Beautiful. Not too shabby. £15 I'll never get back, mind you. <laughs> but at the same time. Time for a score prediction? So, I reckon it's going to be 1-1 in the first half and then Palace is going to come back in the second half and make it 2-1. Wishful thinking, I think, but it could happen. Like I said, this game, they always say never bet on the early kickoff. They say that for a reason. There's every chance that Palace could spring an upset here, but I am less optimistic for Crystal Palace. I'm sorry to say, I think it's going to be a very comfortable Manchester City win. I'm going to go 4-0. I know. 4-0? <laughs> but you know what? When Palace come back and they win, it's going to out the window. <laughs> well, I hope for your sake for Palace win. I just don't see it happening, but we'll have to see what happens, ladies and gents. Nine minutes of football to go. Man City fans out in full support today. It's going to be a good atmosphere today, ladies and gents. And out come the two teams. Many will label Manchester City as a favourite, but do not rule out Crystal Palace. <laughs> Erling Haaland starts today. He's not been in great goal scoring form, but you can't rule out that he's going to have an impact today. And what better team to get that goal scoring form back in action against? A struggling Crystal Palace side. Mateta, the key danger man for Crystal Palace today. Is he going to be able to get on the score sheet? We'll have to wait and see. We're underway, ladies and gentlemen. Mateta's in. That's a shot to the system for the title race and for Manchester City. Well dealt with by the keeper. Chance for City goes over. Pep Guardiola, not a happy man after that goal's gone in. He's got a lot to think about from the first five minutes of play. The ball. Oh! Kiva punches it away. Brilliant from Henderson. Corner back in. Oh! Oh, what a save from Henderson. And what a start to this game he's having. Fantastic goal by De Bruyne. That is out of the top draw, into the top corner. And Manchester City are back in this game. It wasn't going to be as easy as that. Those Manchester City fans absolutely love it live. What a fantastic strike we've just witnessed. And suddenly that Manchester City end has erupted. They're chanting away. What a brilliant goal that was. Inside of his foot, into the top corner. It's brilliant. It's classic Kevin De Bruyne. We've got the perfect angle of it. 1-1 now. It's game on. Man City were never going to go down that easy. Oh, 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 it's over for Mayu. 
Harlan's in. Oh, it's a great save from Henderson again. He's been on top form today. Oh. Glass and his side so far has played really, really well. They've defended well, got the goal early on. If they can hold out until half time at 1 1, it's going to be a very good scoreline. And oh, he's won the ball. What a golden opportunity that was against the runner play. Man City have dominated since they scored. What a chance for Palace. They are executing this game plan so, so well at the moment. And like I said, if they can keep it at 1-1 at half time, it's a fantastic scoreline for them. Nice ball. Oh, good hand from the keeper again. And that's half time, ladies and gentlemen. And what a great start to the game that we've seen so far. Crystal Palace won, Manchester City won. So, half time, ladies and gents, you've got to be very happy at the half. I am very happy. Palace have played so well, like defensive side and attack as well. But there's two players that have really stuck out to me today. It's Nunez and Mateta, obviously, scoring the first goal in the first four minutes. So, so good. Palace, like you said, on the defence have been really, really good. They've kept Man City fairly quiet. It took a thing of magic from Kevin De Bruyne to even things up. And on the attack, they've been so, so patient. They've waited to strike and very nearly went into half-time with a lead. Jordan Ayew hitting the bar, but they played so well. You've obviously mentioned those two names there, Munoz and Mateta. Mateta, by the way, I've seen a fair few times here. He has not played about 45 minutes than that from what I have seen. Dean Henderson as well has been absolutely fantastic. So reliable when called on as well. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the second half. Your 1-1 one -one prediction at half-time, by the way, is on. First half-time prediction that we've had, and you've only got to get it right. So the way things are going, it's going to be a 2-1 Palace win, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Are you confident? Yeah, I feel like if Palace continue playing how they're playing, I definitely think they're going to come out with a 2-1 win. Do you know what? I'm more confident in that than I was at the beginning of this game. We'll have to wait and see, ladies and gents. Let's get into the second half. Oh, and it's an early goal. Oscar Bob. Not the start that Palace wanted, but it's a perfect start for Manchester City to this second half. It's poor defending from Crystal Palace, and that's unlike them in this game so far. They've been really sound so far. The cross wasn't dealt with. It fell to Oscar Barbie, who had time to take a touch and smash it past the keeper. It was an easy finish, and it's a real, real shame for Crystal Palace, who worked so hard in that first half. But fortunate for them, they've got time to bring this back. Uh, just quick correction as well. It was Rico Lewis that scored as well, not Oscar Bob. Got similar hairstyles, far away. Could quite read the name on the back of the shirt but regardless Manchester City 2-1 still time for this game to change though oh somehow it stays out Man City's lead remains at one Classic Man City goal, they work the space, they play it across, it's an easy goal for Erling Haaland to tap in. 3-1 City, I feel it now. You know what, I've still got a bit of hope. I still oh, reckon God, Palace can get even just one more goal and make it 3-2 because they've played so well, even the start of the second half, so I've still got hope. That's it, I think they've dropped off a little bit from the first half, but they're still not playing badly. It's just Manchester City being Manchester City. If you allow them even a sniff at goal, they're going to find it. And that's why they're the best team in the world and fair play to them. It's 3-1 now, but I don't think that Crystal Palace can be too hard on themselves. They played well. There's still 23 minutes to go. It's getting ugly now. Those City fans loving life. Seeing what they expected at the beginning of the game. Crystal Palace, it feels like they've fallen apart. It's going to be a long rest of the game for Crystal Palace at this rate. It's 4-1 now in quick succession. Manchester City getting what they need, but Crystal Palace, for all of their hard work in the first half, it's coming undone in the second. And like I said, Manchester City get what they deserve now. They're creating chances. They're putting the ball in the back of the net, and it is what it is at the end of the day. Elise is coming on the pitch now. Could he be the difference maker for Crystal Palace? Palace. Mateta's coming off. He has played brilliantly. As I said at half time, best performance I've seen him play for Palace. But with 
five minutes to go. Crystal Palace pull back another goal. Well, it's an Edward on the score sheet. It's 4 2 now. I feel like it's a consolation goal, but imagine this could be the start of a comeback. Unprecedented in the Premier League. I doubt it, but fair play to Crystal Palace. Like I said, they played well, and I'm happy for them to see them get another goal, but I still think this is City's to lose. <laughs> going to be the last chance ladies and gentlemen Manchester City win it's 4-2 against Crystal Palace Pep Guardiola won't be overly pleased from what he's seen with this team he's a perfectionist he won't be proud of those two goals that went in and the scare that Crystal Palace gave them early on but I think Crystal Palace played fantastically the first half performance was incredible second half they dropped off a little bit but they managed to find a goal and were close to starting off a comeback it just wasn't meant to be. And as for Manchester City, they are so clinical in front of goal. As I said earlier, if you give them a whiff at goal, they will punish you. And that's exactly what happened today. They didn't dominate by any means. They controlled possession. They took their chances when they came and they are the deserved winners today. It's Manchester City's day. And congratulations to them. Deserved winners for Crystal Palace can feel hard done by. So ladies and gents, that brings to an end the start of another Premier League weekend it is Manchester City who win 4-2 against Crystal Palace. It was a very, very good game as well. Thoroughly enjoyed. But of course, we're going to go to the resident Crystal Palace fan for the day. Did you enjoy yourself? I had a wonderful time. Like the game itself was amazing. Even the first half, like the first half just brought on the atmosphere and tension between both teams. And then the second half, obviously the score was 4-2 to Man City, but it doesn't reflect on how Palace played at all because they did well defense, like defensive wise and they attacked very, very well. So You yeah. can be proud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, this is your first men's game obviously how did that compare to the women's games that you've been to so i'm not gonna lie i actually prefer the men's games because the atmosphere like just as a crowd are amazing like compared to the women's obviously we're loud but we're not as loud as we are we are as a men's game oh, there you go it's interesting though. it's definitely a different atmosphere in the two sports the women's game i think give a, a sort of a nicer vibe before the game there's a bit more of a party atmosphere i do certainly agree with you i think that the atmosphere throughout the game generally speaking is better at a men's game so uh yeah, there you go more you know it's now the third stadium that you've been to We've been to Stamford Bridge, we've been to Wembley, we've been to Selhurst Park. Do you have a favourite out of the three? Selhurst Park is definitely at the top because I just like how original it is and like even when we were watching the game today they had like little promotion things going on and then when each there was bring out the starting eleven of the players for each team and they had each player going across the whole of the stadium which is really cool. So I think the ideas that they did to build Selhurst Park smashed it mate. It. I love Selhurst Park. I think it's a really nice sort of traditional stadium. Wembley, don't get me wrong, is special for its own reasons, but I think based on the games you've gone to, yeah, I think Selhurst Park has certainly had the most special atmosphere. But obviously Manchester City today coming away with the three points. Like you said, Palace in the first half are fantastic. And I think it's a shame that they couldn't take at least a point from this. But Manchester City are just so clinical. They made Palace pay for every little mistake that they made. And by the end of the game, of course, they went away with the win. So fair play to Manchester City as well. The fans were brilliant today. They're really, really good. Crystal Palace fans as well were absolutely fantastic. So a real credit to both sets the supporters today unlucky crystal palace congratulations to manchester city and they're really plying on that pressure now towards the end of the season as they bid for the title so it's between them arsenal and liverpool comment down below who you think is going to end up winning the title and the man of the match today i feel like he's quite an easy one to go for i'll come to you because we both agreed hit me kevin de Bruyne. he played fantastically and it's obviously going to go to him can i tempt you with a uh, crystal palace player of the match um i'm gonna go with daniel munoz he honestly was just amazing out there today he attacked very well 
and his defense for Crystal Palace as a team held the team strong. 100%, I think he played really, really well. So uh, despite the result for Palace, obviously they played very, very well. And I agree that I think he stood out amongst the names that obviously we mentioned in the first half. Thank you so much for watching as always. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad that you enjoyed yourself. I'll be back. I hope so. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Take care as always. Peace and love.